This is lesson six homework for module seven, grade two. Write your name first. I'm gonna write mine. And here we have to count or add to find the total value of each group of coins. Write the value using the cents or dollar symbol. And I'll show both ways to write it for these. We only have to you only have to write one. Uh, but I'll show you how to do it both ways. Uh, I like to just write, look at this, that's a nickel, that's five pennies or ones. So I've got four ones and a five, that's nine. So I could write nine cents. And the cents always goes after the number, to the right, to the right, right side of the number. Uh, if I'm gonna write it uh, using the dollar sign, then I'm going to have to use decimal and zero nine, and the dollar sign goes in front like that for nine cents. Uh, for amounts this small, I would usually you're going to see the cent sign and not this dollar sign with the point uh, zero nine. <clears throat> but I'll just keep showing it both ways. Uh, now this dime, this is the back of a dime, that's 10, and these are all pennies. So 10, 11, 12, 13, that's 13 cents. Or you could also write it as 13 hundredths of a dollar. Dollar sign here, decimal. 13 cents. Uh, I suppose you could write zero dollars and 13 cents. That might make more sense. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, this is a dime, back of a dime, 10. And these are nickels. So these are fives. Five, 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 five. So five, 10, 15, 20. And the 10, that's 30. So you could write 30 cents. Or you could write this, dollars, zero dollars, and 30 cents. And now here we have dime and nickels and pennies. So we've got a, we've got a 10, we've got five, five, and these are pennies or ones. So we have a group of 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. You could either write 23 cents or you could write dollar sign. This is going to be zero dollars and 23 cents. This next one, let's move up a little bit here. This next one, we've got dimes, we've got a nickel, we've got pennies, and dimes are tens. Nickels, fives, pennies, or ones. So we have 10, 20, and this is seven, so it's 27. 27 cents, or if you want to raise dollars, dollars, right? Zero dollars and 27 cents, like that. Uh, now here we have a quarter, 25 cents, and we have two nickels, those are fives. And pennies are ones. So this is two fives, that's a 10. So 25 and 10, that's 35, 36, 37, 37 cents, or dollar sign, zero dollars and 37 cents. <clears throat> and our last one on this page, 25 here and these are dimes and a nickel and a penny so these dimes are tens nickels five pennies one so we have and sometimes it's easier to add the nickel to the quarter because then you can count by tens so if I do this then I'm looking at 30 right 25 and 5 that's 30 40 50 60 and one more 61 that's 61 cents, or if you want to write it, dollar sign, zero dollars, and 
61 cents, like that. Our next page. <clears throat> We're looking at a nickel, two pennies, and a dime. Now, these aren't in order, like kind of like they were on the first page. So we just have to be a little bit careful about what we're looking at here. The nickels are fives, pennies are ones, and dimes are tens. So we have 10, 15, 16, 17, and we can just write that as 17 cents. If you want to be fancy and write dollars, it would look like this, zero dollars and 17 cents. Uh, this, these are pennies, and that's those are nickels, so we have fives. And those are pennies. So there's a 10, 11, 12, 12 cents. Or you could write $0 and 12 cents. Here we have one, two, three dimes. These are the tens. These pennies are ones, and this nickel's a five. I'm going to count the tens first 10, 20, 30. 35, 36, 37, 37 cents, or you could write dollar sign, zero dollars and 37 cents. Now we have a quarter, quarters are 25, and two nickels, those are fives, and a penny's one, two fives makes a 10, so 25, 35, 36, 36 cents, or zero dollars and 36 cents. We have a quarter for 25. These are dimes, those are tens. Nickel for five and a penny for one. Oh, I like to take the, uh, you can do this in any order you like, but mentally I just like to get to the next 10. So I think the 25 and the 5, that's 30, 40, 50, because those are 10s, I can count them by 10s. And then one, uh, oh, that's a nickel. Oops. So that's a nickel. So I'm going to change my strategy now. So that's a 10, 10, 20, 30, and now we have 55 cents. Or zero dollars and fifty-five cents. And then here we have a nickel for five, a quarter for twenty-five, another nickel for five, a quarter for twenty-five, and a penny for one. These two quarters here make fifty. These two nickels make another ten, so that's sixty, sixty-one, sixty-one cents or dollar sign. Zero dollars and sixty one cents. Now we have three quarters, so we're getting more and more money here. Twenty five, twenty five, twenty five. These are dimes for tens, and these are pennies for ones. It's really useful to learn your to be able to count by twenty five. So four quarters and a dollar. It's going to come up a lot. Uh, so it's really helpful to know 225s is 50, and then you could just add 50 and 25 pretty easily in your head probably, but it, it's even easier if you just, just know that 3 quarters is 75 cents. So you could have your 75 cents right here, and then you're going to count the dimes 85, 95, 96, 97, that's 97 cents, or zero dollars and 97 cents that's almost a dollar and then finally down here we have a quarter for 25 these are pennies for ones one one and these are dimes these are all tens ten 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 so we have, and that's four penny, that's three pennies, so it's not going to come up, it's not going to let us get the 25 up to an even 10. So 
we're just going to have to go with the tens first, I think. 10, 20, 30, 40, 40 and 25, 65, 66, 67, 68. That's 68 cents or dollar sign zero dollars and 68 cents. <laughs>